it's keto by keto cap here it's friday the is it the 7th 7th of august uh, 2020 welcome to my channel uh this channel is about my weight loss journey it's my personal journey i'm not a health advisor no medical background or anything like that it's just uh, what i'm doing i'm on a journey to lose 56 pounds uh, by following a ketogenic lifestyle so if you want to see how i'm going on want to pick up some hints and tips for your own uh, journey please hit the subscribe button below give me a thumbs up for the video and you'll be able to see how i get on so um somebody suggested i do an instagram so i've, I've created an instagram this week and it's got the same name it's called kiss keto by keto kath and i'm going to use it to put pictures of my meals i'm not very good at remembering to do it so i think i've only put two meals on in a whole week um but if you want to follow me on instagram as well that's where i'll put on pictures of what i'm actually eating that and a little bit of description about what it is so that um if you want to have a go and and you know try having some of the same foods to lose weight there's um you know there's a uh, uh, photos of what i've done on there so have a look at my instagram page and follow me on there as well so what have i done this week exercise wise i'm back at home um so i can't i've got the time to go out walking every day like i did last week when we were in scotland um so i mean saturday we were driving all day it's a 10 hour drive to get back home um, so no, and then Sunday, unpacking, putting everything away, sorting stuff out, trying to clean up the house because it was dusty after two weeks of not being here. Um, you know, weeds growing up in the garden. So Sunday, I was just busy all day, no time to exercise. On Monday, I'll put a little video in here. Just cycled 13 miles. So I've got another 13 miles to go home, so that'll be 26 miles to a place called Spike Island which is in Widnes and it's very, very nice. It's a lovely day, as you can see. There you go, see you Friday. So, I did a 26 mile bike ride. Everybody's been saying, oh, where we go cycling down the canal? Oh, that goes to Spike Island, Spike Island's up there. So me and Angela decided we're gonna find this Spike Island. Nobody told us it was 13 miles away. And we're cycling and cycling and cycling. And in the end, we said to these two boats, do you know where Spike Island is? And they said, yeah, you're on it. <laughs> so no big sign to say, welcome to Spike Island, but we made it. Um, so, and then obviously you've got to cycle all the way back. So by the time we got home, we'd done 26 miles. So very proud of that. Um, you know, starting off at two miles and getting to 26 miles in six weeks is amazing. So this, this diet um, just makes you feel fantastic. Um, I did suffer Monday, Tuesday. Um, well, Tuesday, Wednesday, sorry, Monday we did the cycle. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, and my legs were absolutely killing me. Um, and I've done my measurements, which I'll come to later. Um, my knees are bigger than they started off, so I think my knees might have been suffering a little bit after that. Um, but I went for a bike ride on Thursday, yesterday. Um, only a short one, only I think it was about 14 miles, but it was a bit more uphill and down dale, so it was, and we went faster than we've ever gone before. I think we started at about six miles an hour and run about nine and a half miles an hour now. So, um, speed wise, we pushed ourselves and um, it was much more cardio. So, I've cycled 40 miles this week, so I'm pleased with that. And then I've also gone out walking the dogs a little bit more in the evenings, but. Um, not been able to get any really long walks in. Um, I've had two meals a day most days, and there was two days where we only had one meal a day, and they're the days that I was really busy working, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, I was grooming all day, and I, I can't see one, well, because I'm stood up and I'm bending over, I just can't groom and eat anything, you know, substantial, and I've got a very short turnaround between dogs, so I have a dog in in the morning, I have a 45 minutes where I've got to sanitise the whole grooming room because of the current situation, um, and then my next dog comes in the afternoon, so and between then I've got to let my own dogs out, go to the toilet, so I don't have time to sit down and have a meal, so by the time I finish my second groom, which is about quarter to three in the afternoon, that's when I eat, and sometimes I'm just not hungry. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm not eating now when I'm going to have dinner in a couple of hours. So a couple of days, the two days that I do the longest days, um, I've only had one meal a day. But every other day I've had a, a lunch. I probably don't eat till about 2, 2.30. Uh, I'm just not 
ready for anything before then. And again, that's another side effect to this diet, which is wonderful because you're not hungry. Um, and there's a couple of pictures of those meals on Instagram. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, last night was the only time I've had the munchies. I, I just, I, I can resist calves. Calves don't bother me. I'm making meals for the two boys. Um, Paul's joined me this week on um, my keto lifestyle, so it's been easy because he's eating the same as me. Making meals for the two boys, and I, I, it doesn't bother me anymore. You know, I can resist the calves, but last night I did. I just felt like I wanted something else. So I made what they call fat bomb, which was um, coconut oil, butter, um, I put some cream cheese and only a tablespoon of everything and some um, vanilla and just then melted it all together, put it in the fridge, waited till it's set and then just had, a, had that as a snack and it was really nice actually but um, my goal for the week was to get into the 12s if you remember I said last week Can I, I really want to get into the 12 stones so I'll tell you later whether I made it or not I mentioned Dr. Zyvis last week, the, I think he's called The Carb Doctor, on YouTube. Uh, and I've watched more of his videos and I had a real light bulb moment. He talks about um, why do we eat carbs, why are carbs so addictive? And it's because when we eat them, they give us that, they, they release endorphins. It, our endorphin system is triggered by eating carbs. So we get that high of feeling good. And the difference between carbs and protein and fat is that if we eat protein, our body has a two-way system where when we're eating it, it tells us we're full. So if you think about eating a great big steak and you get to the end of your steak, you think, I've had enough. Or eating something really rich and creamy and you do feel satiated by it, whereas we don't get that with carbs. So we eat carbs and we feel good. So we go and eat more. And I, th I read on a, another, or I saw on another video, that like say in the 50s, 60s, 70s, which is 60s when I was born, uh, we ate three times a day, breakfast, dinner and tea, and that was it. And I remember our treat for the whole week was a little fudge bar on a Friday. You know, there was none of this continuous eating. And today the average person eats 15 times a day. So that's just constant snacking. Um, so his suggestion is that you replace that endorphin feeling because you still want to feel good you still want to do something that releases your triggers your endorphin system with a zero calorie snack or a drink of some sort so mine is my coffee i've been making i'm living off black coffee at the moment i absolutely love it and i never liked black coffee before but i think my taste buds have really changed um i had something at the beginning of the, the keto diet i got some erythmatol powdered erythmatol which is um, a sugar substitute it's like icing sugar it's very it's very like looks like icing sugar oh, and I thought it was fantastic it I made some buttercream with it um, and I made it the other day and I, it was too sweet I just thought I can't eat this it's mouth too sweet so my taste buds have really really changed which is good um, and I think that's why the carbs don't bother me I'm not really looking for something sweet but coffee is my go-to I'm sipping I have a couple of cups of coffee in the morning yeah, have a cup of coffee whilst I'm cleaning up between the two grooms. Um, but in the evening, obviously, I don't want to be drinking coffee because I have done that and I've not been able to get to sleep. So um, I've been having fizzy water, just zero calorie fizzy water. Um, I'm putting lemons and limes in it to flavour it. And I've, I've had that in my hand most of the evening. I, I have to be honest, I still find evenings hard. So having the fizzy water um, and having it in my hand has just stopped me wanting to go and snack. And that was the other light bulb moment I had watching Dr. Syvis the other day. Um, he, he recommends eating twice a day. So you two meals a day, but no snacking. And what I have been doing for the first five weeks is I've been having that first meal in, of the day. And then between that and the second meal, I might snack on a few nuts. And they're all within my allowance. Or I might snack on a bit of cheese. Or when I've had my second meal, I might have some nuts later in the evening. So I've tried really hard this week just to eat those two meals and not to snack in between. And I thought, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm a snacker. So what I've done is replaced carbs with other things that I'm snacking on. And really, I want to break that snacking habit. So that's what I've done. So coffee and carbonated water, all zero calories, um, of what I've, I've used to replace those with this week. Um, he calls it a bridge basically it gets you from one meal to the other or gets you throughout the day so 
a bridge or your go-to um, you, you know find something that works for you so um, that's what I've done this week I do plan it's Friday I do plan on having a drink at this weekend so I'm gonna have gin with um, zero calorie tonic and lemon and lime and I'm gonna put them in my carb manager and work out what I can eat today and tomorrow so that I can accommodate a drink so we'll see how that goes uh, hopefully I won't get the uh, drinking juice munchies I made a bread yesterday because Paul's been joining me and he goes to work he normally takes sandwiches but he is diabetic he's on medication for diabetes so we're trying to sort of lower his sugars really doing it by diet um, but I, I, the linseed bread is it's okay I'm I'm used to it but it's it's got a I find a an oily taste to it and this it's just not bread um, although it's the best thing I've found so far but I made this bread it's on Deidre's kitchen um four years ago she put the recipe on other people have uh, there's lots of youtube people that have made it, it the recipe is on the keto fitness club as well but the difference between that and deirdre's is that keto fitness club have it all weighed out by grams and deirdre's kitchen has it by cups i like doing cups because i don't have to get my scales out and have bowls and measure it it's just easy one cup of this one and a quarter cups of that so um I, i'm gonna make that at the weekend because we nearly used it all up I make it at the weekend and I'll film that because that is the best bread substitute I've found. And I had some toasted last night and I will, I've, I've missed toast. Um, toast with loads of butter on and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I've made that really looking for, for a better bread recipe for Paul so that I can do lunches for him for work. And you know it's a bit easier to make a proper sandwich. Um, so I'll make that at the weekend and I will film making that and put the recipe on that film. So I'll do another separate video for that non-scale victories this week um i measured myself yesterday uh <laughs> and other than my knees which i've actually gone up three inches believe it or not so i think there's a little bit of inflammation going on there from the 26 mile bike ride there, there's no way my knees can be three inches bigger than they were when i started but everything else overall uh, I've lost nine inches. I've lost about five inches just off my waist. So I did a picture last night of day one and yesterday. So I'll put that in here. So yeah, over the moon, non-scale victory is um, nine inches overall. I can definitely see it on my waist. I can see it here around my shoulders and, and, and my arms. I lost an inch and a half off my arms. And when I've dieted in the past, other diets, uh, and I've done my measurements, I have never lost anything off my arms, but uh, an inch and a half, so over the moon with that. So did I make it? My goal was to make it into the 12s, so did I make it into the 12s? My starting weight was 196 and a quarter pounds. Last week, which was 14 stone and a quarter. Last week, I weighed 13 stone and a quarter of a pound. This week, I weigh 12 stone, 12 and three quarters. So yes, I made it into the 12s. I'll put a picture of the scales in here. And all in all now, I've lost 15 and a half pounds. And this is the end of week six. So an average of two and a half pounds a week, but 15 and a half pounds over the moon. So onwards and upwards, and I shall see you next week. And if you haven't already done too, don't forget to subscribe, like my videos. Bye.